Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Do you remember Daria Dugina, the daughter of Alexander Dugin? Well, uh, Alexander Dugin is uh, still is alive. He is a philosopher, intellectual, uh, with some um, ideas that some people don't like, but a lot of people like, like all of us. Uh, you know, we can't like everything about everybody. Nevertheless, um, he has had, I'm sorry, a daughter, and her name was, was Daria, Daria Dugina. And she was a journalist, a journalist. And she was covering the news in a certain way, and she was on the side of her country. And Putin, who's a war criminal, and so on, blah, blah, blah. Nevertheless, she, had, she was a journalist, saying things, saying things. The, she was assassinated in Moscow last year and uh, the Russians claim it was the special forces intelligence of the Ukrainian they, so the, it was the Ukrainians let's put it this way the Ukrainian intelligence services SBU to put it this way and those guys said nah no nah no it was nah we well ah. okay now remember she was a civilian she was a reporter, assassinated. I don't hear any, any outrage in the free world that a reporter that you might not like, uh, pushing propaganda, as they say, look at the definition of propaganda and you would lump all these guys into that. But nevertheless, uh, she didn't deserve that fate, I would say. Now, that if that was orchestrated, her assassination was orchestrated by a governmental institution okay and within ukraine ukrainian government now that means these guys killed a civilian a civilian right? and a journalist now that is a crime because imagine someone else would would designate let's say an idiot journalist here in america from cnn or from msnbc or whatever you pick him and mainstream media i'm talking all right and they will say that guy is a propagandist and we don't like you we're a kind of like a war let's say the iranians would be the ones we are at war with iranians somehow or let's say the iraqis when we in we when they invaded them when would have assassinated a journalist like that because according to the iraqis uh, or libyans or afghanis or the serbs or who, you name them you know what i mean that guy was a propagandist what do you think these guys will say? Was ah, well, that's okay because it, oof, that person was a propagandist and they determined that. No, of course, they would call it as it was, crime. Now we have a little problem here. That's a report by the US media, coming from the US media, claiming that the SBU, the Secret Service, the, uh, the Special Forces Intelligence of Ukraine committed or was, was part of that assassination of this journalist, propagandist person civilian and uh, I'm gonna give you one two three about well, four um, articles and I will put in Trudeau yeah yeah that idiot the Prime Minister of of uh, Canada because Trudeau if you remember he was very upset when a chic guy here a Canadian citizen was assassinated by someone remember the chic chic and then he said that his intelligence services determined that it was the intelligence services, the secret services, the whatever services of India. Like, put India as Ukraine and put uh, Russia as Trudeau. So Trudeau said, you guys assassinate a Canadian citizen on our territory. And I'm going to quote him, what idiot Trudeau said, when that happened. And the exact words, that is, all right? You'll see. So let's start with the first article, um, because we always go in a crescendo. The new voice of Ukraine, Dugida, Dugina, car bombing part of SBU's shadow war against Russia. Washington Post reports. Now, this is the new voice of Ukraine. They have to use the same, uh, certain kind of words that will absolve SBU of any criminal you know, liability. The problem is this shadow war against Russia did not mean you can kill a civilian journalist. So you see, 
they say, well, that is part of the shadow war against, against Russia. No, it is a civilian who had the job of a propagandist that these guys assassinated. That's a crime. I don't care your war, because if you say, well, let's say they would have raped Dugina, let's say SBU or someone, we say, well, it's part of the shadow war against uh, Russia. Would they claim the same thing? You see how idiotic that is? So the cluttered car carrying, oh, this is uh, garbage here. Anyway, so this is one thing. Then go to the next one. This comes from the Russians, obviously, Sputnik. Daria Dugina's assassination orchestrated by Ukrainian intelligence report. This was the propagandist that Ukraine considered uh, and determined that she has to die in, in an explosion. Civilian, media person that you didn't like or they didn't like. The daughter of a prominent Russian political philosopher Alexander Dugin was killed on August 20th, 2022, when the SUV she was driving was destroyed by a powerful explosion. The assassination of Russian jour journalist Daria Dugina was orchestrated by the security services of Ukraine. A U.S. newspaper quoted unnamed sources as saying, the sources claim that, and I'm quoting, the cluttered car carrying a mother and her 12-year-old daughter seemed barely worth the attention of Russian security officials as it approached a border checkpoint. But the least conspicuous piece of luggage, a crate for a cat, was part of an elab elab elaborate little plot. So that's how they got the bomb in. And says here, this comes from was Geopolitics Live, blah, blah, blah. The murder of Daria Dugina was organized by the Security Service of Ukraine, the Washington Post has reported. Must be true. Free media. We got free media here, okay? We don't lie. We don't do propaganda, do we? <laughs> and it says, since 2015, the CIA has spent tens of millions of dollars to transform Ukraine's Soviet-era services into powerful allies against Moscow, the WP said, the Washington Post, citing un unnamed officials. So they claim that with C CIA's help, which are in the business of KGB, as I said many times, do you think that these guys are just different? You say KGB, a criminal organization, CIA, saints. They do the same thing, man. It's like you have people running around in a, a track. They are in the business of running and, you know, getting ahead of everybody else. All of them, regardless of what con con country, they come country they come from. I told you this many times. And we don't find a oh, waterboarding. Oh, we just found out. Do you think that that's all what it is? Really? Abductions and taken to Guantanamo without people even knowing? Let's say tomorrow CIA comes over here, let's say, and gets me out. Get, takes me takes me away. You're never gonna hear, you're never gonna find out where I am and what happened to me. Nothing, nothing. How will you find out? How will you find out? Do you think that I was uh, incarcerated? You're not gonna hear from me again. How are you gonna verify? The same here, my friends. CIA goes into Germany, picks up someone and abducts that person. Disappeared. Uh, in the local news, yeah, probably, or Germany, or someone disappeared, and nobody going to find out where that person is. And if Germany finds out, they're going to keep their fucking mouth shut as Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Why? Because they know better. All right? So, it says here, and I'm quoting, according to the insiders, you, and I'm quoting, a co uh, Ukrainian op operatives had installed a hidden compartment in the pet carrier and used it to conceal components of a bomb. Four weeks later, the device detonated just outside Moscow in an SUV being driven by Daria Dugina, the daughter of prominent Russian political philosopher Alexander Dugin. The operation was orchestrated by Ukraine's domestic security service, the SBU. The source argued, refer, re referring to the use of the pet crate that have not been previously disclosed. And again, we already did that. Next, next one. Next one is from the new voice of Ukraine. SBU refuses to comment on Dugin assassination report. <laughs> this is the Ukrainians, okay? So this uh, Ukraine security service has refused to comment on the Washington Post report that SBU agents were behind the August 22 car bomb. Why? Because they call, make call to America, to the government, to go to uh, the Washington Post and say, what the hell are you talking about? Stop the shit. That's what's going on right now. What do you think is going on? And they're not commenting because they wait until these guys are dealing with those guys. No, those guys are dealing with these guys here. 
and these guys are gonna call Washington Post and gonna say, you wanna happen to you what uh, will happen to Emil? Ah, just kidding. Anyway, so it says here, look, look here. I'm quoting, all targets hit by the SBU are completely legal. The agency said Vasily Maluk said in an earlier statement provided to TWP. Uh, all right. It did not specifically address targeted killing, but Maluk, who met with top CIA and other U.S. officials in Washington last month, said Ukraine, and I'm quoting, does everything to ensure that fair punishment will catch up with all traitors, war criminals, and collaborators. Daria Dugina was a Russian citizen. What was she supposed? Is she a collaborator? Civilian collaborator? You determine that? But by extension, I can be called whatever collaborator these guys decide. So whenever I get into my car, I have to go sniff around a little bit. I don't care. I, I mean, life, I, no, I don't give a shit anyway. But just saying, you see what it is? They determined I'm a collaborator with whom? With whomever they want. Target? So what? Shoot. What? Doesn't really matter. Now, let's go to this. Um, let me see if I get it right. I don't want to go to a different uh, screen. Yeah, let me go to this one. So this is again from Sputnik and a media re revelation about Dugina's murder mean CIA realizes war in Ukraine is lost. I don't know why that exactly is, but uh, it's a long thing here. And uh, commenting on the de this development, the retired CIA intelligence officer and State Department official Larry Johnson suggests that the timing of the Washington Post revelation may not be coincidental. And I'm quoting, you have to ask yourself, why was this published now? Because this was not just created on the whim. There is a purpose behind this. I take it as an indication that the CIA realizes that the war in Ukraine is lost and that it's not going to succeed, he told Sputnik. Therefore, they're starting to put out their story about, hey, look, there's all the good stuff we tried to do and it's not our fault. The Ukrainians sometimes went off the re reservation and did bad things. Maybe, maybe not. Now, let's go and see what this idiot Trudeau said. This is C CBS, the great, um, I was about Ukrainian media outlet. So let me show you how Trudeau uh, viewed the same thing happening to him in his country. All right. But I didn't hear him saying anything about Dugina. And they want me to uh, root for them, right? to be on Trudeau's side. Trudeau, if you pay enough, Trudeau will be on your side. Trudeau accuses India's government of involvement in killing of Canadian Sikh leader. Okay, this was from what? In June, blah, 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 uh, September 18th. Then I'm going to go to the thing that I already got ready for you. This is a fucking weasel. And um, did I already get it? Oh, I think it was right here. Right here. Look, let's uh, read this right there. And I'm quoting. This is Justin Trudeau. Any involvement of a foreign government in killing of a Canadian citizen on Canadian soil is unacceptable violation of our sovereignty. It is contrary to the fundamental rules by which free, open and democratic societies conduct themselves. So if Ukraine is a free, open, democratic society would not have conducted itself that way because killing a Russian citizen on Russian soil, civilian, uh, it's unacceptable violation of our sovereignty. You know what it is? We can go to war if we want. Canada tells India. All right. But just so you know how this says, how this uh, uh this guy interpreted that as you would expect continues the we have been working closely and coordinating with our allies on this very serious matter so he spoke with sunak with emmanuel macron with the u.s president biden for that assassination wrong as it is put that in another context i know the russians are somehow different and bad and all of them and so on. But still, if you try to keep a pretense of objectivity and justice, at least I want to hear someone here say, you know what? Those guys killed another journalist. As bad as she was, 
she was a civilian and she was a journalist one of us but anyway it's not a one of us because we're better how are you better did you listen to hannity did you listen to the what's that race lady what's her name from uh, uh joy is that her name? joy reed or something that's her name joy reed have you listened to that uh, that one have you listened to I can close my eyes, that morning Joe garbage, the two over there, Joe Scarborough and his uh, Zelensky Stein wife, uh, Mika Brzezinski, the, I think the daughter of the former uh, advisor and whatever, what I can remember his name, his first name, the Brzezinski is his last name. Uh, I can't remember his freaking name, but anyway, go and check it out, all these guys, that's propaganda over there. So that gives... US's enemies that we designated, which is ba -ba -bi -bu -bu -ba -ba, they have a right to do the same thing? No, they don't. And should be called as it should be called. The same with that sheep. Was killed by someone. Now, if the Indian government did it, Trudeau is right about it. Now, this, that sheep guy was not like a guy who was just, uh, I know, played a blue. -doo. He didn't do that. Probably he didn't do, did that too. But anyway, what did he do? He wanted to break India. He wanted to create a country in the country. So I think India had some serious problems over there. I'm not saying, I'm not defending the assassination. Stop that idiot uh, thing, of, okay? Right here, let me show you. Oh, not that one. All uh, right, where is it? Right here. Nijar, the, the poor guy who was killed. Uh, a supporter of Sheik homeland in the form of an independent Kalis, Kalistani state had been branded by the Indian government as a terrorist. I mean, you want to break the country. How do you call that? These guys said that was an uh, insurrection on the 6th of, of January. That was an insurrection. But this guy wants to break the country. It's not an insurrection. You do that here in the United States of America and say, I want this, I want that, and see how what happened. Do you remember the pride boy, proud boy guy, the Cuban-American, uh, <clears throat> half black? But he was a white supremacist. Remember the guy? He got, what, 22 years in prison for insurrection? For uh, trying to destroy the country? Uh, whatever uh, um, the word was, uh, uh, was used. And now they want to up it to 30-some years? So, you know, I, I'm not saying that guys should uh, deserve that one. But you understand what I'm trying to say. Trudeau is as he is a garbage the other guys do shit that if that would have done to us we would call it by the dictionary but we don't so it is what it is right no no if we tend we if this the criminals if the criminals in general tend to forget the crimes they're committed because they commit too many and they don't have really a a um uh how should i put it emotional uh, connection with the, the crime and the victim the family of the victim of the survive or the surviving victim that person will never forget until that person dies and the family will never forget that never and they will try to get that person to justice in any way anyway my friends remember it was a video you can still find on, on youtube with that father whose daughter was sexually abused by that uh, I think it was a martial art instruct instructor or something, if I remember correctly. And he was in the 1980s. 90s. He was at the telephone booth and the guy was coming at the airport through the hallway. And the guy turned around with a hat, turned around and <laughs> over there. Now that, the guy was, <laughs> but the guy over there was hurt, apparent. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.